Hello everyone and welcome back to another Raviel Plays Digimobs into the Digital World. We are still joined by Greyforce, and to be honest, I'm tired of waiting. Look, I know it's been only a few episodes of preparing for the trip to go find the one true partner. Yes, I still say it, it's the one true partner. However... I'm going to only do uh, a few minimal preparations this episode, because we're heading out. Major thing I've prepared, I've wrote down coordinates. Beyond that, I'm making food. Because I'm pretty sure... I had to check real quick. Yes, he can eat potatoes. And I think he's fine with that. Yes. He has no favorite food. Perfect. He will like baked potatoes. Because I'm going to make three more stacks. Because I have lava buckets. And a smoker. So. Let's uh, go ahead and put him back in his. We might... We might have him walk along with us. Actually, yeah. We will have him walking along with us. While we're uh, doing this. Uh, do I have a... Ah, here we go. I will grab the hopper for now that I have from over there. We're just going to dump the other potatoes in here. And we're going to wait it out. And as a just-in-case for the fuel source, I have a second lava bucket. We're just going to do this. We will probably still train a little bit while we're nearby... But I want, there is one specific thing I want to find. A desert. My true partner lives in deserts, from what I can tell. It's the minimalist information I've gathered. I think it's desert lakes. So I will be consistently looking at this to find the biome, which, for anyone that is unaware, the biome is... Looking at my character, it's to my right, but looking at the screen itself, it's to the left. Right above local difficulty and what day count it is. Which, wow, it is day 57. If this was 100 days, I'd be more than halfway through this. Cool! Okay, well. There's a... Did that spiral just... Agamon, you're ki kicking the spirals, but it just came through the door. Or it came through the wall. Beat it. Good amount of XP from that. Ooh, hey, you gotta... Yeah. But yeah. Uh, that came through the wall. That is uh, a scary thought. But, yeah. Uh, one other thing... Uh, I was wanting to get... If we can find some, I don't know if we can find any out in the world, or if it's only from the vendors in town, which cycle, I think, every two Minecraft, either two Minecraft days, or it's every uh, two real hours, I'm not sure, but uh, supposedly, I know you can get the red data from these guys. So I would... I'm wondering if you can find it outside of just finding it in their stores. Because it would be easier if we could. Because right now, all of them have... Like, one's got brown data, one's got obsidian data, and one's got blue data. But none of them have red data currently. And I would like to upgrade my Digivice V... Where's Agamon? Okay, there's Agamon. I was wondering where he was. He wasn't walking around just randomly around me. I was about to say, sit. Sit. Hold on. There, there's kind of glitches in the thing. Agamon. Okay. What the? Okay. Sit. Follow. There we go. Okay, fix that. Um, but yeah, he, uh,
Oh, I hate those things. There's one right near the house. Really need to have a secondary door. Uh. Okay, there we go. Once the potatoes are finished, we will... Gray Force, why are you outside? Why did you go through my wall? <sighs> okay, whatever. So the big things we're going to do are as follows going on this adventure. We're going to look for possibly champion level Digimon. I'm not sure how high a level they may go upwards towards. So we're going to see if there is an upwards rank. And if it does start going back down, we will know how far we can go with Gray Force here before issues start arising. So, of course, we're looking for champions. We are looking for an upward bound on leveling. And the desert and a desert lake for my partner. Now, the problem is I'm not certain what food they'll want. So I will check with my Digivice. And due to a specific thing that I have in the game, if, say, I look right here at Agumon, I can pick up Digimon. I don't usually do this, except when I was putting the vendors in their, uh, their fence. There's no cages yet. So... And yes, I said yet. So, I will, if worse comes to worse and I don't have the food, but I know I can make it from here, I will walk them back here. I don't care how far it is. It could be 2,000 blocks away. I will walk them back. And then I will make the food. As quickly as I can. Because I do not know how many pieces it might take. It could take two stacks. And if it takes two stacks and they despawn, I will go back to that region. And I will pick them up again. As many times as it takes. To get my partner. Now, let's check on the food situation. Okay, so we're about halfway done. Once the food's done, we can head on out. I'll probably leave that hopper on top of that for now. Uh, let's go ahead and sell... The Evo liner wouldn't be bad to sell, but I'm going to keep it for now. Uh, I also don't feel like selling any of these chips. Uh, is there anything else digital I could sell? Uh, looks like no. So while that's cooking real quick, we'll uh, head on out of the house, head over here to one of the vendors and sell these eight circuit boards. Because while we need them to make a Digivice, uh, a D3 Digivice, we don't really need as many as we have right now. Okay, so 80 a piece. Wait, is that 80 in total or 80 a piece? So, like, if I put one in... Oh, it's okay. It's 10 apiece, 80 in total. So, 1,055. It's not the best, but it's better than nothing, I assume. I mean, they sell them for 50 bi bits of pop, which is kind of a scam that I get one-fifth. That laptop is also really cool looking in here. Uh... There's also holy data in here. And I haven't seen it again, but they did have a thing for um for Metal Greymon that was a Digivolution item that you uh essentially the Evo liner is to add evolutions. You click it on a Digimon and it adds a space where you can use an item to add an evolution. I wasn't going to use this function, as to be honest, there's no point in my head. 
but to be honest, besides the bond going up, I don't know what Greymon's going to go into. If you guys notice, yes, I have two diamonds. I tried going down into the cave briefly. And I picked them up on accident. I really didn't want to pick them up. I mean, I did, but I also kind of wanted you guys to see. I'm sorry. <sighs> so. That was all I did. I was trying to make a compass. But, so I could just find my way back here without having to write down chords. But, I gave in. I was tired of just not having chords. Okay, so we'll be walking with Agumon the whole way. Wherever we go to. Now, the thing is, we have to decide if we're going negative X, negative Z, positive X, or positive Z. And to be honest, we've been the furthest going negative X to the west. So we are going to journey to the west. Because we haven't gone that far north from our original spawn. We have haven't gone that far east from original spawn. And we haven't... I don't think we've gone south almost at all from compared to original spawn. So west would be our best best bet we have traveled the furthest in that direction we've seen rookie level digimon that were nearby in the fact of seeing agumon s armadillamon betamon uh, demidevamon floramon gatsumon hawkmon lalamon palmon patamon Sayako Mon, Terrier Mon. And look at all these Digimon we haven't encountered. All of these Digimon. There's so many in this thing. Although I wish it would stop on the final page and not just go back from there. But the ones we're looking for, that's one. Or, the other one, if we go back into an area where we find baby Digimon, is this little guy. Sunmon. He is at Desert Lakes. And I'm pretty sure he's at Desert Lakes as well. So both versions are at Desert Lakes. So that's how we find him is going to Desert Lakes. As a just in case the uh, f the smoker doesn't finish, and while it's finishing, I'm going to fix my hopper system. I need to make a second smoker so I can flip these out for smokers whenever I need it, and probably put two levers beside these hoppers so that I can turn off the fuel sources and then do that. But additive things are additive for now. Those can be done at a later time. I know this episode, I told you guys I would try to get everything ready to head out before this episode. I just didn't think about uh, the food situation. Uh, honestly, the last 19 can, we'll get whatever is left over once we wake up from this nap, and then we'll head out. Alright, three, the rest of them can keep cooking. Let's go, Agumon. It's time to head out. And as I said, we're heading west. So it's time to get on the road again. Of course, we have went west a good ways. We've seen the rolling mountains over here to the west of uh, Digi Village. 
or Digi, yeah, Digi Village 01. We've seen the trees over here, but never went into them. And of course, we've met, we've seen the plains here that lead to a lovely tree line. But this digital world has so much more to offer. So of course, we've got to go further. This is the furthest, to be honest, this is the furthest west we've gone. So let's go for it. Of course, I'm going to have my D terminal out the whole time. Any new Digimon we meet, we can record. This area, what is this area called? Oh, it's a coniferous forest. It's not a bad forest, it looks like. There are some dark spots I'd rather not be here. But, yep. Like I said, some dark spots I'd rather not be there. Considering I saw a zombie. There's some chickens. We've got a normal Minecraft river running between these two biomes. Looks like there is a seasonal deciduous forest as well. Huh. Oh, there might be a plains up ahead. All right. Another village. We got through the forest and we found another village because of it. There's Gatsumon. Well, we can now check to see if any villages outside... I know the... F there was that weird village that was in another region, but we haven't seen another Plains village. This one might have more NPC Digimon. Or it might not. I haven't seen any yet. There's one! A food vendor?! That's new. Wait a minute. What do you have for sale? Golden acorns, digi trout, big berry, orange banana, hawk radish, sweet nut, blue apple, and chain melon. All of these mention just weight. Huh. That's at least... There's a traveling Hagurum on there. This village does have different NPC Digimon. And as we sit here for a second, they're spawning in. Floramon, a Hagurumon. There's an armor vendor. It's a Candlemon. Hey, Candlemon. Uh, the, the villager's getting in my way. Scale... It's not some, some not bad armor. Let's see. There's a traveler Tentomon, a traveler Hagurumon. There's the food vendor and a traveler. There's a Lalamon that's an armor vendor. More stuff that I would expect. Uh, some extra food never hurts. Raw potatoes and some apples. Yes, I am kind of robbing the villagers a little bit, but uh, to be honest, we've got to take some things. Never know when the next village we're going to find or the next digi or the partner. Another vendor. What do you have? The Digimental of Kindness. White Wings for Anjumon. 
Three Digimentals. Wow, you're really good one. I'm actually going to put you over here in their cow pen. There you go. Don't worry, don't worry, citizens. I just put your one of your vendors in a in your cow pen to protect it. I'm of course still raiding their houses. Nothing in this one. Besides the Haguru, ooh, Iron Golem. Forgot about those guys. Good thing I haven't hit any of the villagers. Huh. I think it depends on the village itself, whether you get a lot of travelers or if any of them become vendors and such. Okay, armor vendor, traveler. Looks like those two there. There's the food vendor and another traveler there. Looks like a lot of travelers in this village. So it looks like unless they, unless I were to sit here for a while, it looks like most of the time there will be only one vendor per village, potentially, with an armor or weapon v vendor and then a food vendor, potentially. But I'm not for certain. However, this still isn't the biome I was looking for, so we need to continue onwards. I hope the villagers can... I hope those Digimon can forgive me. Well, the vendor, at least, for tying him up like that. Uh, is that another village in the distance? Wow, okay. Also, right now it looks like the... Uh, Levels are still going up, because we just hit... That Gatsumon was 17. I don't know if Gray could deal with a level 17 or not, but the XP from it would be incredible. Looks like this village is partially in a frozen kind of biome. And this one has a blacksmith. Feels like digi. Feels a little bit like home. There's one of those. One of the. Uh... Oh, but these guys have horses. But it's got the person who works on clay. The guy for uh, this. Oh, well, that's a smithy. Wow. Huh. Well, that uh, house, the toolsmith house, and there's the smithy here. An extra iron sword never hurts anybody. And an extra pair of iron boots could never hurt. Uh, we're also in a kind of snow biome. I wonder what this is called. A snowy deciduous forest. Huh. So we were in a seasonal one before. Uh, the problem becomes... It's still not what I was looking for. Some empty maps. It's always good to have in case we need to map a location real quick. Ugh. Going to keep heading west through a black forest. What is black rose? They looked like wither roses for a second. This digital world is fantastical. There's ice and snow randomly. All these various incredible looking biomes this a dis a snowy deciduous it's 
just incredible. Agumon, quit jumping in front of me, buddy. Just stay behind me or by my side. I don't want to waste the bed. Because I could make it daytime. Can also just... Since we're exploring... Amp up the brightness to bright real quick. There is, of course, I think an old mod, a mod I haven't heard of in a while, Fulbright. But brightness slider is fine. Or I think it's a resource pack at this point. But either way. Oh. Good job, Agumon. Let's keep going. Okay. Although we can't really see that it's nighttime by my screen. Because I... Oh, foxes. So these are kind of like taigas. If there's foxes showing up. I'm surprised there's not more wolves. Whoa. Okay. Quite a few skeletons. Okay. Oh, that's two creepers. I was hoping we would find a desert or maybe at least a village. I was hoping not to have to switch my bed's spawn location, but... Whoa! That's the first Digimon in a while. Not only did we cross into champion territory, they're level 26! We've already went over my level. Sunflowmon? Togemon? Wait, I thought... I don't think I have Sunflowmon. Why is it not... Okay. Sunflowmon, Togemon. So these planes... Have... Okay. That's annoying. On. Stop. Stop it. Agamon, I didn't mean to hit you if I hit you. Sweeping edge is a thing. Those are Devimon. Holy cow. Hold on, let me eat myself back up to... Those are Devimon. Oh, man. I really wish I had brought a bed to see what's here in the dick. That is a Fangmon. You don't see Fangmon too often. He's actually a pretty cool looking Digimon, to be honest. Fangmon, huh. Looks like we're starting to find some kind of beach or s of some sorts. Uh, if there was... Oh, wow. Agumon, really? Looks like we're finding a beach of sorts. Shelmon! Hey! Greymon actually fought you. Digmon! Hey! There's so many Digimon we've found just by coming out this far. And the levels are still increasing. Just from hitting the champion area, we've went from 26 to 27. I haven't even started crossing this water. 
All right. Oh, yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, palm logs and palm sap. Palm saplings can be planted on. Ooh, okay. Didn't know that was a thing. I assumed you couldn't plant those. But. All right, let's uh, head forward a bit. In a boat. Seedramon. Hey. So even in the ocean. Oh, wait, where's Agamon? Is he. Wait, what is that? Is that a. Tobiumon? I don't remember you. I don't remember Tobiumon. Hold on. I need to go to land to get Agumon. Because I didn't even think about that. Okay. Agumon! Agumon. Get out of the boat, Agumon. Get out of the boat. I can hear a drowned. Get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. Agumon! Get in my inventory. Huh. Oh. But Tobiumon? I've never heard of that before. Seedramon I've heard of. Everyone's heard of Seedramon. But Tobiumon? Huh. Alright. I'm going to try to map the area we're in right now. Alright, let's see. And that was worthless. That was... Act... That was actually worthless. That did nothing. So, all right. We're going to keep going west. <sighs> hmm? I saw a thing show up. Weird. Well, let's keep heading... Uh... Oh, there's another Tobiumon. We'll keep heading this way. Maybe the different water biomes have different water Digimon. Or aquatic Digimon. Uh, looks like there's another beach over there with some forests. Some normal forests. Huh. Wonder what could be there. I haven't seen anything spawning around me. Then again, I have been kind of boating rather quickly. Uh, seems to be a mountainous forest. Wonder how high the levels are around here. I also haven't found a village since I hit the champions. <sighs> 33. Okay. So we have not hit the down spike yet. We are still very much in the up spike. There's another... There's more forests. The large variety. Hmm. I just swore I just saw something for a second. Oh, tropical fish. <laughs> Hmm. Massive spires of rock. Oh, it's a mountain biome. Similar to the one near the house. Near Digibase 01. Let me... There we go. Let me go ahead and put the... This is incredible. This mountain is huge. 
uh, at least for what we've dealt with so far, this is This seems similar to where I found the rock circle. A, It's called a grassland plateau. So we're not officially in a mountain biome. Over there might be a mountain biome. But what we're up on is a grassland plateau. Hmm. I want to go down here into this... Get down, get down, get down. Get over here. That was Erdramon and Dramojamon, and they're at 35. Uh, I don't think... Was the last level we saw 33? So this would still be going up? I'm not... I don't remember. Was it 33 or 37? I don't know if we're on a down tick. Because if we're on the down tick, that would be interesting. That'd mean the cap would be around 35. Oh, well. Uh, I found some poor sheep. And I say poor sheep. Because so that we can keep our adventure going during days and not have to deal with uh, a certain nuisance of a mob... I'm going to craft us a bed. And yes, I know. I shouldn't be crafting a bed because... Uh, da, 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 Wait, was that two Digimon just now fighting? I've never seen two wild Digimon fighting. Was Were they just fighting over here? I've only ever seen my own Digimon fight. Or was that just Aerodramon flying around? I don't see the Erdramon that was over... That's a Unimon! Hey! Okay, that's another uh, Digimon. Let me just get down here. Unimon. Erdramon, Unimon, Dramojamon. I... Pitomon! Hey, that's the evolution... Uh, well, no, that's... I'm thinking his other... This is the color swap. I actually don't know what Pitomon Digivolves from. Nefertimon! That's a armor digivolution. Hey, there's the Digimon I was thinking I was going to find. Burdramon. I'm surprised I haven't seen a Halsimon or Aquilamon. They're still around 35 here. But it looks like some holy Digimon... <sighs> well, we're going to have an issue. If we find a desert now... We're in champion territory. Champion Digimon can't be tamed. Hmm. What Digimon is that? Oh, wait. I mentioned Halsamon, and there he is. Another Arma Digivolution. Halsamon. There we go. Huh. What was that? Oh, I think that was the Pitomon. I'm getting sidetracked. We're supposed to be continuing west, but at the same time, with how far west we've gone so far, we've hit level 35 champions. And going further west, we'll just continue going up the levels. I'm wondering if it's almost worth it to go back, to head back home to Digibase 01 and start from a different direction. We've met so many Digimon already. No. No. We're continuing westward. Bow Hackmon? <laughs> Every time I see a new Digimon, it's just... 
me just basically making random noises trying to get over there to them. And I even damaged myself. I need to really work on... We're on the cusp of ulties! Garudamon's here! We're on the cusp of the ulti territory! I didn't think we'd came that far! But we're on the cusp of ulties if Garudamon's here! Oddly enough, that's going to make me want to keep going just a bit longer. A bit further westward. No new Digimon better show up while I'm up here. Okay. <sighs> I know, Agumon, there's so many strong Digimon out here. Or Grey Force. There's so many out here. <sighs> if we attacked them, we'd be slaughtered. <sighs> this digital world, it's so expansive. There's also so many patches where just no Digimon inhabit. Like that red forest over there. I could put odds to evens that there's nothing there. But this plains. Plains we've seen have them. Digibase 01 is built in a plains. So we know that this will have some Digimon. Honestly, with the forest like that nearby, it kind of reminds me of home. Though we haven't found a village, so... And this is a Sunflower Plains. Which... is kind of unique. Glad we found it, though. I don't know of any... I don't know what Digimon would spawn in a Sunflower Plains. Sunflowmon? If we're on the cusp of... Ult, if we're on ulti territory... Lilamon? Lilymon? Uh... If we were near Mega Territory, I'd say... Reflessimon... Lotusmon and Rosemon. But we shouldn't be. But I'm also not seeing anything. Which is weird. I would figure. It just feels a bit empty. How far west have we gone? We've went over 3,000. We've went over 3,000 blocks away. We have walked through forests, plains, snow, and we still haven't found a desert. So, thank you everyone so much for watching. Next time, we'll be starting back from Digibase 01. I'm, I'll be walking back. And we're going to start heading in a different direction. West has proven that we can get all the way up to the Ultimates. Level 30's Ultimates. 
but we still can't find our partner. So we're going to head the other direction. Until then, tamers, stay digital out there. <laughs>